Hello girls, how are you doing? Let's do another pick a con. Today is going to be what needs to change. So that could be triggering, that could be not what you want to hear kind of stuff. Okay, so let's stay cool. Uh, let's do two pounds. We develop and then we have the hidden to Rico because this one is always amazing. Okay, one, two, one, two. Part number one, one needs to change. Ten of Pentacle, King of Wands and the Hangman. Yeah, something definitely needs to give. Uh, there is a transformation happening. We used to hang this way and now we need to hang this way. Uh, 360 degrees. I mean, it's not even if we need to change. It's like, yeah, uh, transformation is happening absolutely. And he, it's uh, happening because we've been superficial for a long time. Maybe your person or yourself can always be reversed as being a social butterfly, but not really dealing with the reality of it. So, yeah, if it's something a little bit kind of casual and all of that, I need to change because it's not that casual and you both know that. Because when you have a 10 of pentacles, you kind of recognize each other. And then it could be a period of no communication or very weird communication. But uh, there is a love remaining and you can't uh, help it. It's going to happen. It's developing into a comeback because eventually you come back together and you are a power couple or a dream team. It could be really a business idea that we left on the side for a while and then we're going back in because we need to make it happen. A lot of people say 2024 is a year of harvesting. Yeah, so what kind of seed do you plant? Because you're going to harvest, there's abundance here, but abundance of what? That's why I say, oh, I want abundance. Abundance of what? Money? Love? What do you want? Because abundance of trouble can happen too. So be very specific on what you want. The thing that one needs to change is the mentality, okay? We cannot be superficial. We cannot just talk about this project and, oh yeah, one day, maybe. No, we need to get on with it, okay? And we need to also transform because the way we've been doing things haven't really produced any result. Regardless of the um, context here, it can be relationship, it can be friendship, it can be business, it can be yourself with yourself. You know, have you made the decision? Have you made the decision to go back to the gym, for example? But are you going there like a tourist, like here and there, once in a while, or are you going for it? You have to be, con you know, consistent. Pentacle is about long term, longevity. It's not just a one off and that's it. It has to be consistent. And that is very different from this attitude, which is more like I'm grabbed the pleasure and the money. As, as soon as I can and then whoop, I'm going back, I disappear. No, no, <laughs> this is it. The end of a cycle of life. Yeah, absolutely. Because you realize being superficial doesn't work and maybe hurts people. Hmm. Or something is going to change. The tower is when someone is stubborn, doesn't want to learn the lesson. Eventually, universe say, hmm, you don't want to see the little warning sign. You just want to pretend everything is fine. Well, bam, here we go. Clearing the air. I love the tower personally. Because you clear the air. There's no fluffing around anymore. That's that's for sure. And then, yes, you make a decision. Do I want to go along um, that way over and over, fluff around for another 20 years? Or do I take a leap of faith? Do I want to have a superficial relationship with this one, this one, this one? Or do I want to be by myself for a while? And maybe clarify where I stand or choose someone long term. Which one do I want? So one needs to change is... Uh, superficiality of the situation and be much more anchored and know exactly what we want if it means that you're going to be alone for some amount of time so be it but at least you know where you're standing and also you know how to be efficient how to depend only on yourself and your um, self-esteem will just go up to the sky absolutely i knew exactly what i was doing yeah you bet someone was very superficial Someone was maybe playing the field. But you know that kind of person, you see, mm -mm -mm. no, you don't do that. You like things to be building up. You are for long-term, secure, building relationship, learning about myself, learning about relationship, growing as a person. And those ones, they didn't want to, you know, they didn't want to build anything. They wanted to fluff around. Well, bingo, this is it. Now they're going to have to rebuild themselves and maybe alone. Oopsie daisy, right? Absolutely. Okay, so uh, what we do? <laughs> what needs to change? Oh my God. King of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Oh my goodness. Well, what needs to change is to take action. Because this person is on the fence. 
So mine is full of love, men, female, doesn't matter. We don't do uh, gender in tarot, as you know. Is someone full of love, full of passion? Yeah, but not doing anything about it. Fluffing around, having a cup of tea and just fluffing around. No, it cannot be done. Because we want this happy ever after. And that's not going to happen being sitting on this little sofa, right? No, we need clarity. The Ace of Swords will happen after a Ten of Swords. So, yes, maybe that person is on the fence because they've been burned once. Maybe they went through a Ten of Swords. And, of course, I understand. They, they're not in a rush to go into a relationship or start a new business because they've been burned. Yeah, of course. But you cannot stay victim of a Ten of Swords forever because look at that. You learn something on that on, during that process. You learn what you want and what you don't want. And what you want is true happiness. So if that means that for a while you are alone because that's how you feel secure, fair enough. But you might not need to stay alone forever. Why would you close yourself to love? Love is coming to you. Yes. Yes, someone is checking you out. Mm, absolutely. Or oh, you're checking out somebody. Yes, yeah, someone maybe has been a bit depressed. Well, fair enough. If they've been burned. Yeah, maybe they needed that time to recover. Fine. But justice will be served. Now it's time to go back on a horse. So I mean, frustration, of course. Because you cannot just say no to love forever. Eventually it will happen. Yeah, maybe there was a karmic debt. Fair enough. Maybe there was an inner charm to heal and all of that. Absolutely. Absolutely brilliant. But we can't dwell on it. Bingo. Empress, yes. Someone is there. Maybe it's you. But someone is there in the, in the kind of like the elbow waiting for the boat to come in and be on the fence like well i'm looking at it but not doing anything well how long are we going to do this how long for right yeah nine of ones we get into the ten of ones so you know argument misunderstanding taking more and more responsibility just to avoid the truth it's about i love you as much as you love me i'm transparent as well and also i'm being paid for my worth maybe someone is reluctant to give you extra money bonuses promotion why you so worth it i mean what is it waiting for yeah the learning more skills maybe you can teach people some skills as well right it works both ways absolutely so as need to change is for someone maybe to acknowledge your uh, amazing qualities and to pay you the money or someone who's able to say finally i'm in love with you i've been in love with you for years what are you waiting for right seriously so uh to be to stay still is not a solution nothing stays still for long in this planet right or the universe so yes maybe they want to uh catch your breath fair enough but not marinating in this okay what do you have we you were the best thing in my life you bet so when you know that what are you fluffing about i mean seriously just staying still and looking at the situation Okay, you look at people going through a life and you just stay there, spectator. It's about, you know, being actor in, in that film, not just spectator of it. No, it's time to go at that. Mm -hmm. It's like people who are watching YouTube training session forever, and I know for a fact, and then suddenly, well, yeah, I need to get on and, and do something about it. Yes, stop watching, uh, you know, webinar, and you have to go at there and live life. You know, you're ready. So go for it. Okay? On this note, have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao.